Kimora Lee Leisner is an American entrepreneur, fashion designer, TV personality, author, philanthropist and model. Chapter 1, Early Life Kimora Lee Perkins was born in St. Louis, Missouri and spent her early life in the northern St. Louis suburb of Florissant, Missouri. Kimora was born of African-American and Japanese heritage. Nearly six feet tall by age ten, she was teased because of her height. To boost her confidence because of her height, Kimora's mother enrolled her in a modeling class when she was 11 years old. Chapter 2 Career Chapter 2 Section 1 Modeling At age 13, Perkins signed a modeling contract with Chanel and under the tutelage of Chanel designer Karl Lagerfeld. Simmons helped inspire Lagerfeld's creative vision and call for racial inclusion and paved the way for other mixed-race models in the fashion world. Lagerfeld deemed her the face of the 21st century. She gained attention in the fashion world when she closed Lagerfeld's haute couture show in 1989 as the bride, the concluding bridal look signature to every Chanel show under Lagerfeld's tenure. Simmons later modeled for Fendi, Valentino, Emmanuel Ongaro, Christian Dior, Roberto Cavalli, Kenzo, Anna Sui, Jeffrey Bean, and E. Saint Laurent. Chapter 2 Section 2 Baby Fat by Kimora Lee Simmons and Fat Fashions In 1998, Simmons' then-husband, music mogul and entrepreneur, Russell Simmons, was at the helm of Fat Farm, an urban menswear brand. Simmons created a parallel women's brand, Baby Fat by Kimora Lee Simmons, under the umbrella of Fat Fashions. Simmons stepped in as Baby Fat's designer, creating a collection based on what she would wear. In 2000, Simmons was appointed president and creative director of the Baby Fat brand. In 2001, Baby Fat reported gross revenue earnings of $30 million. By 2002 Fat Farm and Baby Fat had made a combined profit of $265 million. In 2004, the Kelwood Company purchased Fat Fashions for $140 million. Simmons stayed on as president and creative director of Baby Fat, expanding the label into a lifestyle brand with denim, accessories, jewelry, swimwear, fragrance and lingerie categories. Later that year, the label expanded to selling a custom Motorola i833 mobile phone sold exclusively at Bloomingdale's and partnered with Vida Shoes International Incorporated to create a shoe line. In 2006, she was named president of parent company Fat Fashions. In 2007, Fat Fashions partnered with Silver Goose slash Kid Street to create an infant and toddler accessory line. In 2008 the Kelwood Company sold a majority stake in Fat Fashions to Sun Capital Partners, after which Simmons left Fat Fashions in 2010. In 2019 Simmons announced she had reacquired the Baby Fat brand and in August, 2020 she announced Baby Fat Beauty line curated by her daughters Ming Li and Aoki Li. Chapter 2 Section 3, Entrepreneurship and Eponymous Collections Chapter 2 Section 3 Subsection 2 Fragrances In 2005, Baby Fat by Kimora Lee Simmons collaborated with Coty Incorporated to launch its first ever fragrance, Baby Fat Goddess which was carried by department stores including Sears and Macy's. Baby Fat Goddess was then joined by Golden Goddess, Seductive Goddess, Baby Fat Fabulosity, Love Me, and Baby Fat Dare Me. After Simmons' exit as president of Fat Fashions in 2010, she retained ownership of all licensing rights for her fragrance and cosmetics collection. Chapter 2 Section 3 Subsection 3 Jewelry Simmons created the Simmons Jewelry Company to market jewelry items under the Fat Farm and Baby Fat labels, which resulted in Simmons's Diamond Diva line of jewelry. She then partnered with pop culture icon, Hello Kitty owned by Sanrio Limited, in 2006 to launch Kimora Lee Simmons for Hello Kitty in Neiman Marcus. The Hello Kitty collection by Kimora Lee was expanded in 2008 with another collection of jewelry and watches being released in conjunction with the Zales Corporation. 
Chapter 2 Section 3 Subsection 4 KLS Cosmetics In May 2006 Simmons launched KLS Cosmetics with beauty giant Sephora and Macy's stores. The collection consisted of color cosmetics and fragrances. Chapter 2 Section 3 Subsection 5 Fabulosity Designed by Kimora Lee Simmons Simmons created a line for J.C. Penney in 2008, which combined the two worlds she knows best, high fashion and hip-hop. Fabulosity was merchandised at J.C. Penney as an urban lifestyle offering in juniors with a complete sportswear line that featured tees, knit tops and sweaters, jeans, skirts and dresses, as well as hoodies, jackets and outerwear. Chapter 2 Section 3 Subsection 6 KLS Fashion Collection and Couture by Kimura In 2010 Simmons launched her contemporary KLS fashion collection, which retailed to department stores like Macy's. In tandem, the designer and creative director launched Couture by Kimura, a brand of under $40 clothes exclusively for Macy's. I wanted to do something that spoke to a different market for Macy's. It sits in a different section. I wanted this to be crossover. I wanted this to be colorless and really about fashion. And it's what I call recession proof. It's really important to say that, said Simmons. Chapter 2 Section 3 Subsection 7 Shinto Clinical Simmons launched her own anti-aging skincare line with Swiss skincare company Macari de Suisse in 2011. The anti-aging line was geared toward multi-ethnic women, and consisted of plumpers and products to keep moisture in the skin. Chapter 2 Section 4, Just Fab Simmons announced a new position as president and creative director for Just Fab, a personalized shopping website which she ran until 2015. Kimura skyrocketed Just Fab into the fashion subscription stratosphere. With Kimura Lee Simmons's direction, just Fab offered individualized boutiques to monthly subscribers who had completed an online fashion assessment. Just Fab and Kimora Lee Simmons made it easy for anyone to be fashionable by creating entire on-trend looks, which gave women of all fashion tastes the ability to affordably make their home closet their dream closet. Chapter 2 Section 5, Kimora Lee Simmons High Fashion Collection Simmons launched her new, evolved Kimora Lee Simmons women's designer line, featuring Italian fabrics and handmade embellishments. This marked the first time Kimora entered the luxury American designer category. The Kimora Lee Simmons collection was picked up by Bloomingdale's, Lord, and Taylor, Farfetch and a network of boutiques nationwide. Chapter 2 Section 6 Entrepreneurship and Investment Portfolio Simultaneously, Simmons instituted her venture portfolio of new and innovative businesses in the fields of fashion, entertainment, technology, sports as well as consumer goods including Cottage, an advanced technical skin care line in France, Pureform Global, the first manufacturer of non-cannabis, non-hemp, all-natural CBD products, and Silesis, a clean energy negative calorie drink acquired in 2015. In spring 2019 she co-launched Pelica, a Beverly Hills Spa. Chapter 2 Section 7, Reacquisition of Baby Fat by Kimora Lee Simmons On International Women's Day on March 8, 2019, Simmons delivered the keynote address at the launch of the She Innovates initiative led by the UN Women and the Gender Innovation Coalition for Change. There, and to Bloomberg News, she officially leaked the news with a business announcement of her own, the reacquisition and forthcoming return of her ultra-iconic streetwear brand, Baby Fat by Kimora Lee Simmons. The brand will re-emerge in the summer 2019 season with an exciting collaboration, and then debut a signature collection during fall 2019. Simmons said to WWD, the relaunch of Baby Fat will be comprised of a mainstream sportswear collection for millennials targeted to the mid-tier retail level. It's perfect timing for this, Simmons continued to WWD over the past several years, we realized resonates with people and lives deep in their souls. And young people like her 16 and 19 year olds have a need for messaging that is similar to what Baby Fat represented in its prime, and still can today. Chapter 3, 
Philanthropy. Chapter 3 Section 1, Amphar. Simmons has long been passionate about supporting AIDS research via Amphar. Simmons attended Lionel Richie's performance to benefit Amphar at Cipriani Wall Street in April 2006 in NYC, and then the Cinema Against AIDS 2006, the annual event in aid of Amphar at Le Moulin de Maugins during the 59th International Can Film Festival in May 2006. Chapter 3 Section 1 Subsection 2 Rush Philanthropic In addition, Simmons is instrumental at the Rush Philanthropic Arts Foundation, serving on the board of directors and as the host of the 2011 annual Art for Life fundraiser in the Hamptons. This event raised money for the Rush Philanthropic Charity that supports arts programs for inner-city kids. Grammy-winning singer Jennifer Hudson performed before a star-studded audience filled with famous faces, including Mary J. Blige, Taraji P. Henson, Star Jones, and Lala Anthony. Hip-hop violinist Miri Benary also kept guests entertained throughout the evening. Chapter 3 Section 1 Subsection 3 Hetrick Martin Institute, Harvey Milk School Since 2009 Simmons has hosted the annual Red Carpet Gala celebration supporting Hetrick Martin, and its tribute to gay rights activist, Harvey Milk. According to its mission statement, HMI, home of New York's Harvey Milk High School, believes all young people, regardless of sexual orientation or identity, deserve a safe and supportive environment in which to achieve their full potential. Hetrick Martin creates this environment for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender and questioning youth between the ages of 12 and 21 and their families. Simmons is also a supporter of the G&P Foundation and Keep a Child Alive. Chapter 3 Section 1 Subsection 4 The Kimura Lee Simmons Scholarship Fund Simmons has a long history of philanthropy establishing and sponsoring programs at the Fashion Institute of Technology in NYC and the Fashion Institute for Design and, and Merchandising in LA. Simmons personally donated $1 million of her own money to students pursuing careers in fashion. Speaking to FIT students in 2014, Simmons said, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri, for those of you that may not know, and growing up in St. Louis, the fashion industry always felt so far away, like millions of miles away, she said. I always knew that I wanted to be a part of it, but I never really imagined how to make that happen for myself, and I imagine that's the case for maybe a lot of you. Chapter 3 Section 1 Subsection 5 The Unmentionables Named Global Ambassador for Nonprofit Group The Unmentionables in 2016, Simmons and her family have done extensive work to support refugees and in crisis migrant women and children fleeing violence and natural disasters. Simmons has worked to provide refugees protection from exploitation and trafficking, utilizing her business acumen and passion for empowering others while becoming a powerful voice for human rights. Simmons and her family traveled to Texas to help with organizations relief efforts following Hurricane Harvey in summer 2017. She also has helped to fund the distribution of reusable hygienic products and feminine supplies. In summer 2018, Simmons Leisner traveled with her family to Greece to contribute efforts to migrant and refugee families, providing training, supplies and education to the refugee community as they entered Europe. Chapter 3 Section 1 Subsection 6 UN Women in 2018 Simmons joined the Global Innovation Coalition for Change in partnership with UN Women to drive industry-wide change and advance women and girls in innovation, technology and entrepreneurship. She currently serves as a global innovator for change as an active supporter for gender equality in the workplace and has addressed the UN Women and GIC groups for the launch of its Gender Innovation Principles in September 2018 and of its She Innovates Call to Action on International Women's Day in March 2019. Chapter 3 Section 1 Subsection 7 Freedom Shield Foundation Simmons and her family pledged their support to Freedom Shield Foundation in 2019, and organization which rescue thousands of women and children from human trafficking and provide advanced trauma care to the survivors whom we rescue. 
They also provide training and resources to those involved in the fight against trafficking both nationally and internationally. Chapter 4, Personal Life Kimora Lee Perkins married Russell Simmons in December 1998. They have two daughters, Ming Lee Simmons and Aoki Lee Simmons. The couple separated in 2006 and later divorced. Simmons was in a relationship with Academy Award-nominated actor and former model, Jimon Hansu in the summer of 2008. In May 2009, Simmons gave birth to their son Kenzo Lee Hansu. Their relationship ended in 2012. In February 2014, Simmons confirmed that she had married Tim Leisner, a former Goldman Sachs banker convicted for his involvement in the 1MDB scandal. Leisner allegedly personally stole some $200 million from 1MDB. Simmons gave birth in April 2015 to their son, a baby boy named Wolf Lee Leisner. Simmons went back to school to complete her business degree in 2017 to 2018, and announced her graduation from the University of Hartford in June 2018, the same week as her eldest daughter, Ming Li, graduated from high school. Mother and daughter celebrated their achievement together. Chapter 5, Media Chapter 5 Section 1, Television in 1998 Simmons took on her first TV personality role, hosting One World Music Beat. In 2004 she hosted the syndicated talk show, Life and Style, for Sony Pictures Television, which filmed in front of a live studio audience. Past hosts include Tracy Ellis Ross, Giselle Bunchen, Marcia Cross and more. Kimora also took part in several specials for VH1 titled Uncut New York Fashion Week and Party Fabulous. In 2003 Simmons served as a judge on season 1 of America's Next Top Model, alongside Tyra Banks, and also judged the franchise's Germany's Next Top Model as well. Showcasing Simmons' life as a businesswoman, who balances her family life, she was the focal star of the Style Network's top-rated show Kimora, Life in the Fab Lane, which also syndicated on E! Television Network and viewed in more than 200 global territories. This first-of-its-kind reality show debuted in 2007 and lasted for seven seasons with tremendous popularity. Simmons herself served as producer for four episodes in 2007 and then as executive producer for another ten episodes between 2009 to 2010. Kimora, House of Fab debuted in 2013 in tandem with Simmons' tenure at Just Fab. She also served as executive producer for each episode which aired on the Style Network. Chapter 5 Section 2, Broadway Kimora Lee Simmons produced Deaf Poetry Jam, on Broadway for which she won a Tony Award in 2003 for a special theatrical event. Chapter 5 Section 3, Book her 2006 book Fabulosity, What It Is and How to Get It was published by Harper Entertainment and garnered strong reviews as a lifestyle manual from such publications as the Washington Post and Boston Globe. Chapter 5 Section 4, Appearances Simmons has appeared in multiple roles in television and films including Beauty Shop, Brown Sugar, and Waist Deep. She has also appeared in music videos for Genuine, Usher and Jay-Z and in video games.